Welcome to the Jane and Stitches Show. I thought today we would do something really cute and simple as a back to school starter. I'm talking about these really adorable cherry appliques. If you've got a cardigan or a pair of jeans or a hoodie or a sweater or anything else that's kind of seen better days or you just want to freshen it up a little bit, maybe in just in time for back to school, try putting on a cute little applique. I thought today we would do these really cute, very simple, using scraps only, cherry applique. And then you can put it anywhere you like. So, without further ado, let's go to the craft table and make ourselves up some cute, tasty little cherries. <laughs> In order to make your cherries, you need a very small amount of scrap yarn. So I've just got a couple of extra balls lying around. This is obviously overkill. <laughs> But you need a little bit of red for the cherries, a little bit of brown, I mean a really small amount of brown for the stem. And if you're making the leaf, you can check out the leaf tutorial I made. I'll put the link to that tutorial in the description box down below. And of course you'll need a very small amount of green for the leaf and an even smaller amount of lighter green for the little vein work. You're going to need a, um, a wide-eyed yarn needle. You're going to need a crochet hook. For this, I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook or a G6, and that's because I'm using a, um, a three ply or a four ply worsted weight yarn. And I'm using acrylic because I'm going to be sewing this onto an acrylic little cardigan, so I like my materials to match. But if you're putting something on a wool cardigan, you might want to use wool scraps, and remember, you have to hand wash those things, otherwise things may shrink. Um, you can also use cotton, but I, I like to match my fabric to my fabric, especially if I'm going to be sewing it onto something. You're going to need a pair of scissors, and if you're sewing it onto something, um, you're going to need needle and thread, and uh, it's best if you have thread that matches your little um, applique, but um, if you sew underneath it like I do, then you can pretty much use anything you like. And once you've got all that, we're good to start. The first thing we're going to do is make a pair of cherries. And this is really, really simple. So all you're going to do is grab your cherry colored yarn and we're going to make a slit, a sort of a, a cinch circle to start. <laughs> you can make a cinch circle any way you like. I like to use my hook. All right. And once you have your cinch circle, we're going to single crochet eight single crochets into the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, once you've finished putting eight single crochets into your cinch circle, grab that little short tail and pull it really tightly because you don't want to have any space showing in the center. What you want to have is a solid looking cherry when you're finished. Now, I like to work over my short tail, uh, but you can also just hold it to the back and weave it in when you're done. But I find working over your short tail sort of does the weaving in for you. <laughs> uh, we're going to finish, that's finished row one. We're going to continue directly into the next stitch, so no uh, slip stitching. You're going to put two single crochet into each of the stitches from row one. So we have eight single crochets in row one. By the end of row two, you will have 16. So two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. One, two, three, four, fifteen, sixteen. When you get to the end of row two, you can always double check your stitch count by counting them all. And remember, don't count the one that's still sitting on your hook. That is not a stitch, it's just a loop. But you can double count or double check by counting all your stitches. You should have 16. And then to finish this row, we're going to slip stitch 
into the next stitch to fasten off. Grab your scissors, just cut a small amount of tail, you don't need very much, because you're just going to fasten off, and then grab your yarn needle and weave in your tails across the back of your cherry. Once you've got your two cherries, it's time to string them together with a little stem. Okay, you're going to grab your brown yarn and we're going to attach the yarn with a slip knot. So we're going to create a slip knot to start with. So there's a slip knot. Make sure it's not too tight or too loose and your hook moves freely through it. Grab one of your cherries and find that spot in the middle of your cherry where you fastened off. So there should be like a little natural divot, almost like a bit of a flat spot at the top of your cherry. You're going to put your hook through the space just below that and you're going to slip stitch to join your slip knot to the cherry. Nice and simple, just like that. Now you're going to start chaining. So I like to do things in sets of 10 to start. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're going to put it down. This is where a little bit of personal design um, interest comes into play. So you want to make sure that your cherries don't have stems that are too long or stems that are too short. I think I like a 10 chain long stem, but that's because of the size of the yarn I'm using and the size of the hook I'm using. So you might want to go 11 or 12 or 15, it's entirely up to you, but I'm going to go with 10. And now, because I'm at the apex or the top of the little um, sort of triangular shape or wishbone effect that a cherry stem looks like, I'm going to add one more chain. This is sort of like a turning chain, but not quite. And I'm going to slip stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch back into the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to chain 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I'm going to attach the bottom of this stem to my other cherry. So same thing as we did with the first cherry. Identify where you fastened off. So there should be a little divot or a natural flat spot there. Take your hook and in sort of just sort of stick it in there just below that little bit where you fastened off and just like we did before slip stitch and that's it now you're going to snip your yarn and fasten off and if you're planning on applying, um, sort of appliquing these little cherries to something, then you can weave that short, dark tail of the stem into the back of your cherry. So it won't be seen because it's going to be applique onto something. And then it'll also keep the little cherry stem from unraveling. <laughs> and there you go one cute little pair of cherries. All you need to do is add a little leaf <laughs> and you can applique it onto your favorite piece of clothing. Just remember when you're sewing anything down to use the stitches that kind of run along the back. Um, but if you use the same colored thread, it won't show at all. <laughs> and that's it. Pretty simple, right? Applique cherries. If you're looking for the leaf applique, remember, you can check out my leaf tutorial and I'll link that um, link <laughs> in the description box down below this video. So you can go over there and make yourself a couple of leaves and you can finish off your cherry applique with a leaf if you like. And that 
is that. I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to us here on YouTube and who have told their friends about us. We really appreciate you spreading the word and spreading the crochet love because it helps us out here and it, uh, it just grows the crafty family. I love everybody's comments. I love everybody's suggestions. I read everything. So thank you so much for leaving a little note whenever you come and visit us here. I also want to thank everyone who's been to our website and who has donated to our little tip jar. We've got lots of free patterns and still more to come on the website. Plus I have a little blog, I try to update that weekly, with my thoughts and my ideas and some of my inspiration. We also have some cool tools and trips, twi tricks and tips. <laughs> as well as some other cool links and things. Just check out our website for more fun, if you can't get enough of us here on YouTube. And also, thank you so very much to everyone who's been doing some summer pattern shopping over in our Etsy store. We've got lots of cute little amigurumi patterns over there, with more to come, especially with the fall coming. And we really, really appreciate everyone showing us some love by visiting us at the shop and doing a little shopping. Thank you so much to everyone for tuning in, and we will see you again very soon on the Jaded Stitches Show. Cherries! <laughs> Bye, everybody! <laughs>